Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, Parent here as well as Sue. Yeah. And in today's video, we're going to be reacting to top 10 most anticipated anime of 2023. I don't really know of any animes that are coming next year. You might know of some, but I, I don't know any. Nah, I don't think so. So yeah, that'll be kind of cool to see the animes for next year. Yeah, just before we get into it, obviously go check out Sue's channel. She's got her own channel about anime. She does a lot of um, One Piece and just other anime videos. So if you'd like to check out to go to her channel it's down in the description and in the pinned comment there's the link and uh yeah let's get into it and watch the top most anticipated anime of 2023 yeah let's go wait is this Roroni kenshin we have a big one i have no idea <laughs> video for the but that's an old anime after all oh wait is this a kenshin season 2 coming out oh, i didn't know that keep the momentum going what wait demon slayer is coming out too sequels to some of the most popular titles maybe this is just like random yeah let's listen let's listen the hottest feel like... novels in town so now let's take a look at some titles that ought to keep us looking forward let me tell Ooh, you that's the now. that's the korean one, right? leveling is it looks to be so, yeah. star studded as what any other year with a lot of titles that i'm sure a lot of you can't wait to watch we start the list off in full overdrive with Tokyo Avengers Ooh. season two, season two. <gasps> haven't seen it i like it is it good yeah it's really like surprisingly sad yeah. Make community combining the time loop plot line with badass street gang mm. ended up being a winning formula. is that about like street gangs and stuff like that yeah he, he, i think he went back in time or something to save like the the love of his life or something interesting and then they're like gangster stuff just can't get yeah. enough of mikey and the rest of the doorman gang such, yeah the second season was all but guaranteed and the hearing sooner <laughs> rather than later I mean, like, gang. this january specifically this time tokyo revenge january will chronicle the christmas conflict arc this arc pits watch the doorman it. against black dragon and the shiba family more intense fights and more gripping yeah, drama awaits as dragon finally gets his time to shine in this arc it's a holiday mm. special like no other coming this january 2023 that's kind of cool what? <gasps> yeah. And if sequels aren't your Damn. Job, how about an adventure thriller in Hell's Paradise? Oh, this looks cool. Damn, I like yeah, anime like these. Yeah, yeah this actually this looks like, super cool. It's like up my alley, you know? I like stuff like that. Yeah, it looks like killing zombies or something. About to make an impact yeah. In the anime sphere. What? Wait, this looks so good. Yeah. Look at the like animation. This title for what to expect. Sorry, a ninja who just can't seem to die. His immortality gets put to the test in a journey to an island wow. of peril. Along with the rest of the convicts, Gabi Maru the Hollow looks to bring home the elixir of life, and along with what? it, his freedom. An island believed to be paradise hides in it dangers oh, of that's that's anyone's that's... wildest imagination. This dark Damn, adventure looks to like make its own actually pretty interesting. Yeah. Bringing with it mysteries and engaging characters that people can think of all throughout its run. It's looking to be a memorable hit. This 2023 the r rating is more this is only number two, nine this isn't your everyday shonen never fair. heard of this one this looks insane damn speaking of exploration excited some more dr stone, stone. i love dr stone i learned so many science oh. stuff from he's, dr stone he's got e equals mc yeah, squared yeah he's a scientist <laughs> he's like nerdy is it the second season or is this like a movie? I think it's the third season. Oh. It's second or third? It's been know. a while, but it's nice to see Dr. Stone making a comeback. With the Stone Wars behind us, it's time to go exploring. Plus, Dr. Stone's third season looks to yeah. take us to journey around the world with the manga's acclaimed Age of Exploration arc. We actually got a special that bridged the two seasons not too long ago, and it only made people anticipate what's to come even more. This season will mark the characters Dr. foray Stone. into the other side of the world, and finally- Are they like pirates as well? No, no, they're, they're like- like some end of the world thing, everyone turned to stone. That's oh, why oh stone. I thought that was just like a statue or something. No, everyone turned to stone. Oh. And then like some of them got like depetrified. Okay. Then, yeah, and then they built stuff and then now they're finally out exploring. Interesting. This, this season. Understanding a very so excited. Because I remember they were building yeah. a ship. This ship? Yeah. This probably does the ship. And now they're ship. finally... Yeah, they even got like a captain or something like they depetrified a guy 
Yeah. Just to be the captain. At least we'll be getting cool. some information on the grand catalyst of the story. And like everything else, it's a discovery. Slightly reminds you of like One Piece with all the skulls and but stuff. I'm very eager to see the yeah, I mean, they are all adventures. Yeah, they're like captains. I mean, they're pirates. Return. But they're not like pirates. It wasn't a pirate enemy. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's back. I don't know who he is. Hmm. Mushoku Tensei also makes its much awaited Seven. return this 2023. Oh, is it Jobless Reincarnation? Is it Mushoku Tensei? This one shouldn't come as a surprise. It's not every day you see a studio being created for the sake of adapting a single series. Hmm. That should key you in oh, really? on how all in the industry is going on oh, Mushoku oh. Tensei. They've said that they plan to adapt the entire series. And knowing the number Damn. of volumes that there are, we won't what be saying goodbye to the end the rest of Dead End anytime soon. Mushoku Tensei Waifu. has already made a huge impact with his first season, generating as much buzz as fans could possibly hope to have. With okay, I feel like this one has quite a bit of uh, fan service. Second season mm. comes the next I mean, phase of Rudy's adventure. I feel adventure. like every enemy. What new challenges and encounters await in his continued quest to learn more about Ooh, magic cool. and the world? For those who can't get enough of Mushoku Tensei 2023, ought to be a great year for you all. I've never seen anything from this. He's like more grown up now. Oh, cool. Some elf. Mm. Another show Roni? to get excited about. <gasps> Rironi Kenshin. Kenshin. Yeah, I knew it. Rironi That's the Kenshin. remake. Yeah, the old one is from like 90s. So there is an older one and this is the remake yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what? He's like Inuyasha. But I haven't watched the original Rironi Kenshin. You seem very excited for this one. Yeah, cause cause I was I was interested in it, uh. but it's 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 too it's too long, and I yeah. couldn't get over the old animation. So yeah, I'll be I'll be watching this one. I mean, I'll probably still yeah, watch that the right. After multiple original live one. Action movies, OVAs, when and I have other material, time. it seems that there's still a demand for I'm more. I'm excited attention. though. Thus, the timeless classic <gasps> is set to make its big nice. return in 2023. It's quite a pleasant surprise because, like Shaman King not too long ago, <gasps> the Rurouni Kenshin TV series never had yeah. a proper ending as far as adapting the manga's end is concerned. Animated by Linden Films, this new anime Ooh, will be readapting so nice. the manga, bringing it up to speed with modern animation and a brand new cast. It's going to be yet another addition to Linden Films' growing resume, and it's looking like their best project to date. If you weren't around in the 90s, you really finally good, get though. to see a modernized mm. version of the timeless classic that's captured wow. the hearts and imagination of anime fans for decades. I've never heard it's of it. It's one of the best so. shown in anime out there, and it's newer a lot fans of, will finally it, get to experience a lot of the tale for themselves. Childhood anime. Okay. It's old. I'm excited! Now they just need to make Inuyasha. Remake. And there you have it. Solo oh, leveling is getting leveling. its anime adaptation Ooh. sooner rather than later. I don't know. I've... And the animation. Though. Yeah, it's, it's insane. I've never heard anything about it, and out of nowhere, people were like, Whoa, you gotta watch this, you gotta yeah, watch this. I think it's because the manga is popular. Yeah. I wonder if it's actually gonna be good, though. Oh, like... and animation looks insane. It's not too long that was the trailer. The trailer was so mad. Solo leveling anime. After seeing the webtoon adaptations of 2020, I just think that solo leveling in anime is the I next so, logical yeah. step. And guess what? Because webtoons We're all are correct. Korean. A couple of months ago, we finally got the first trailer confirming the adaptation of the action film. Yeah, the trailer was there. And it was met with a lot of excitement. Manwa. And that's probably an understatement. Yeah, no A1 Korean. Pictures will be handling this adaptation with some great minds like Hiroyuki Samano involved. Or There's Chinese. a lot to be excited about. The adaptation of the plot is one thing, but in terms of production, we can really tell they're putting their eggs in the basket for one of the most hyped up that's pieces what they're going of for. Korean media out there. For those I mean, who get their first taste of this super popular, edgy, weak to strong series, he's Korean, a but he's a Japanese Solo name. leveling scheduled for a 2023 release. Yeah, I'm excited. Ooh, I think there's some more trailers. I've never seen this. What? Now I love like Demon overpowered Slayer characters. Also. Yeah, he said they're going from weak to strong, so I'm yeah. guessing he's gonna go insanely yeah. strong or something like that. From like slime level to like god level. Hmm. <laughs> Don't be left behind as it's new. Demon Slayer in, in fourth place. Yeah, finally. Damn. Yeah, this was Don't from let the trailer, tell right? You I think. That the hype is over. <gasps> Demon Slayer looks no. to build on the momentum of the previous episode arc with his next season. This time, Reminded featuring me. the Swordsmith Village arc. The previous season Ooh. saw different pillars make their mark, and this one's no different. This time, it's Mist Pillar Moichiro Tokito's turn to fight. Dwarf I still Ninja need to finish second. We also season. get a reunion with Genya, 
who should prove helpful in the fight against the strongest upper moon Tanjiro has to face so far. There's no confirmation, mm. but I think UFO Table may be well on the way to adapting the oh, entire what? Demon okay, Slayer manga this. into anime. I mean, some wouldn't they when the thing basically prints money? Expect them so to bring sad. their A-plus game to this season, the just as they always do. And given Rain the intensity Goku. of the fights that we've got in store, this is going to be one glorious season to watch. Interesting. Yeah. Damn. I gotta finish uh, Demon Slayer before this. For our third most anticipated oh, game, second season of Jujutsu Kaisen. I am hyped for this though. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I... The first Kaisen season and like the movies were so good. Mm. It's insane. But then in the movie, the movie is a prequel, right? So we yeah. didn't see like Sukuna and stuff. Yeah, we didn't yeah. see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This one, you're gonna see them Thanks again. The interesting magic system, like Actually, there was not a lot of like Sukuna in the. Yeah, it's a prequel. It no, 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 I'm saying in, in the anime itself. We've seen it like, maybe, maybe like th three or four times Are in the episodes. But isn't that he the main character? Like, he, Shukuna he, and this guy, I forgot his name. Itadori. Ah, yeah. Yeah, he only showed up in like the first few episodes. Oh. And then later on, they just kind of like, didn't show him that much. Oh, I forgot. ...characters and spectacular fights, it didn't take too long for the title to become one of the most popular shounen anime in the past few years. After the first season ended with a bang, fans were wanting... It was a, it was a cliffhanger, shit, man. Why stop with Jujutsu Kaisen Zero when we can have an entire season two? The second season takes us to the Shibuya arc, and as someone who mm. read the manga, I'd say it's the most engaging arc so far. Fights get turned up to 11, Ooh, and the stakes... Man, they've what, what a hotty. Than before. If you thought season yeah. one was intense, wait till you see what's in store as the one strongest of the curse spirits anime and curse characters. users unite in their quest to unleash hell. You won't need to wait for too long though for the continuation of the epic battle shonen as this second season will be coming this 2023. Yeah. Oh, it's the clap technique. Vinland Saga season two Ooh, season is up two. next. Oh, I haven't even watched season one. Yeah, same. I actually gotta watch this. I think it will be like one of my favorites if I actually watch it. I don't know, it felt a bit too dark for me. That's why I didn't. Is it sad? That's why I didn't watch it. It's about Vikings, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Stuff. Uh. Like, I don't know if it's about Vikings, but it's like. I love Vikings. Medieval. It, it gives me like Attack on Titan vibes. Like, really? look at the animation. It's kind of similar to. Oh, through the eyes and stuff. Like yeah, that. that's how it's like. I'm excited I am for the second season. I didn't know if I like it. An extremely engaging tale of adventure and conquest. Yeah, it's just Vikings. And not only that, I'm pretty sure. I've also learned quite a bit from it. <laughs> However, the second season looks to depart from that and have a slow, steady approach, like which showing us its world. I think it only speaks to the versatility of Vinland Saga. Yeah, it's not you. always about fighting and adventuring. And even with the change of tone, Vinland Saga has continued. Continue to be as engaging as before. It's a story it looks... about redemption, and we're sure to see Apparently some major changes the, like, in the after... hmm. It looks like like there's not that much fighting all the time, so it kind of looks peaceful as well, like you know, I happy mean, times. I don't know. But it looks, but it looks kind of deep for me. But the I was probably still watching. Season. People who love nuanced character arcs will have a blast here. We only have to wait until January for the much-awaited continuation. I wonder if it follows like any his historical characters though, like actual like. You know, maybe, maybe these are the names. Yeah, they like to use. It's being handed over names. to Mappa, so let's cross our fingers. Oh, it's Mappa. See what Mappa will nice. bring to the table. Mappa is good and then like anime. Hey, right, Luzla, like that from here. <laughs> Speaking of which show is being handed over to Mappa, oh! what else better to finish this season than Attack on uh, Titan's final season? Final season part three. Yes, it's finally coming to a close, for real this time. Attack on Titan needs little introduction, being one of the most popular and iconic anime to come out in the last decade or so. It's given us a roller coaster Damn. of emotions since then, and I can't Oof. believe that it's finally time for the whole thing to That's end. That's insane. Or will it? They're, I don't know. I don't know, man. They're gonna sure release more, time, probably, right? It's like, season part four on maybe it's like a movie? one of the most influential and popular animes. Maybe I'm sure they'll do movies and... Yeah, probably a movie. Yeah. Like a um, filler movie, maybe. Or or do they do like a prequel season or something like that? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah. Something like that. Damn, like, Attack on Titan. Besides how everyone seems super excited to I finally love that scene. see the ending come in anime form. That was such this a cool scene, is though. It. The long journey has come to an end, and we've seen firsthand how experiences and revelations have shaped yeah, the journeys been long. of our main characters. Eren, Mikasa, and Armin's story comes to a climax Ooh. in this dramatic conclusion. Damn. 
thank you. 2023 is where it's at and where it all yeah. ends. The world is watching in It is the year. All right, guys. So that was it. The top 10 most anticipated anime of 2023. Which ones are you the most hyped for? I feel like I'm, I'm hyped for like Doctor the remake? Stone. Yeah, like the first, the first eight. Mm. For me, it's definitely Jujutsu Kaisen though. Um... The first eight, I'm excited for all of them. Yeah. Not really, because I haven't watched Vinland Saga and I don't watch Attack on Titan, so... That's kind of <laughs> insane though. For this year, it's going to be Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, yeah. all, all the like popular ones, the remake, and then Do got, Dr. Stone. Yeah, There's Mushoku, so many good Mushoku ones. Tensei and Solo Leveling is like yeah. a new one, but that's like super popular. Yeah. yeah, Villain Saga. There's so many good ones next year. So I'm really excited for next year of anime. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like I said before, go check out Sue, her channel. Uh, she does anime videos as well. Go subscribe to her. And uh, yeah, the link is down in the description. And we'll see you guys in the next one. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye.